And just like that, it's time to meet our baby. 34 weeks, one day, baby boy. We can't wait to meet you. We love you so much. true such a blessing oh I'm already getting emotional so we'll try to keep it together but I just wanted to sit down and kind of talk a little bit about the past month plus of our life it has been the most insane whirlwind into parenthood truly but we're just again so grateful to be here and to be healthy and to be home Essentially, I gave birth quite early. I, I actually wrote a little, a little bit about our birth story and kind of what went on, and it's on my website. So I'm just gonna go ahead, if you wanna read it, go, go for it. But I always wanna caveat, I never wanna instill fear when it comes to pregnancy or birth in any ways, in any way, because it really is such a miracle and beautiful process. and. You know if you are pregnant or hope to be pregnant i don't think it's helpful to sort of think of like worst case scenarios or fill your mind with worst case scenario situations and to me even though our birth was so unexpected and so the opposite of what i had imagined and sort of planned for and hoped for it's still my beautiful birth story and it still brought us our son so to me that's just like what i'm trying to cling on to but there definitely has been a lot of processing, a lot of tears, a lot of really high highs and really low lows. And we're just, again, so grateful to be healthy and home and together. So that's just a little bit about the birth portion. Again, if you want to, I'll link it in the description if you want to read it. But I wanted to sit down and kind of explain a bit more about our NICU experience. So since since our son Wells was so early, he did need to spend some time in the NICU, which I knew nothing about whatsoever. I, I've heard of the NICU, but I, I didn't really know. I knew they helped the babies, <laughs> but other than that, I really didn't know much about it at all. And I kept saying to Brandon and I and our families and the other nurses, I felt like we were in a documentary or a movie and I was just learning about this whole other world I had never been privy to before. So I just wanted to share some tidbits because it was very fascinating. And first and foremost, I'm just so thankful for the medical team, the NICU nurses, the doctors, the surgeons, everyone who helped care for both me and my son. Um, we really are just so touched by the kindness and just the wisdom and everything that, yeah, everything that happened. I mean, it really is incredible what nurses and medical staff do every single day. It's definitely not a job that everyone could do well. So we're very humbled by, by just their talents and everything. So thankful for that. And I also wanted to say I could spend so much time. I've said this before, but I, I keep reminding myself I could spend a long time just sort of upset about everything that went on and just all the time that we spent in the hospital instead of at home together but I could spend even longer just rejoicing and just talking about how incredible and how refining this experience has been just for our family and for our faith it really has been just as crazy as it was and as difficult as it was it was also really beautiful in so many ways so I just wanted to share that and yeah I wrote some notes of just like little tidbits but essentially we spent weeks in the NICU we spent most of July in the NICU and um, yes of course it was very difficult like I'm not trying to romanticize the experience at all but I do want to just share interesting 
interesting memories because it already is becoming such a blip in my mind and we kept saying like every day we were desperate to go home we just we just were so excited to start our family um family life at home and just be with all the creature comforts and see all of our friends and families but it is so wild how each day felt so long and full of unknowns but now it just feels like you know a little blip of our story so and i will say too something that has been amazing is even just waking up multiple times in the middle of the night and doing feedings and just the difficult the difficult aspects of newborn life have felt so minuscule being home compared to all of that in the hospital <laughs> So we're just, we have a whole other level of gratitude and thankfulness that we could have never had before. So very thankful for that. But first I need to show you something adorable. This little crocheted hat was given to us by one of Wells's NICU nurses and it is just so precious and I can't believe she gifted this to us. It's so generous. We were like, wow. Well, first she didn't even tell us she made it, but I was, I asked her, I was like, did you happen to make this? Which made it so much more special that she did make it. And we were like, how long did it take you to make this? She, she goes, oh, only, only about a day. <laughs> we're like, oh, so 24 hours. And she's like, yeah, so sweet so many kind kind people and what was really sweet as well is there were so many nurses as well as just multiple people we've been encountering now who were preemie babies as well because it was so unknown to me i you know it was easy for me to just fill my mind with fear and worry you know that he didn't get that extra time and and my womb to grow would he be okay would everything you know work out is he safe all of that and there were so many nurses who were just so comforting they're like well actually i was born at 30 weeks or i was born here and you know and you just see them and they're so brilliant and perfect and just wonderful and i'm like oh he's gonna do amazing things as well and this is just just a, another adventure <laughs> for his life a crazy adventure to begin his life but he really did take it like such a champ and I'm just so proud and so thankful. But my mother-in-law, she also gave me this, she, she ordered this box of like NICU, um, NICU items. And so I, I kept some notes in this while we were at the hospital, just like, okay, what's his weight today? Oh, um, what did we do today? Which it was a whole lot of the same thing. Basically, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but thankfully we were able to stay with him at the NICU, um, at the hospital where we delivered, there, there are basically three different levels of NICU. And so the first two floors are for lower acuity babies who need a bit more care and attention and um, medical treatment. And then the top floor, which we were on the bottom floor for I think three days, and then we were moved to the top floor, thankfully, which I advocated for. I was like, please, can we, can we get a room on the top floor because I knew you could stay with them on the top floor. There was just a little bit more room in the space, a bit more privacy and there was a bathroom. So if you wanted to stay on the pull out couch, you can, and then, you know, have a little bit more privacy. It's still not very private at all, but you know, it was definitely worth it. Of course, to stay with him. Here's our little Nikki room tour. I can never stress enough how grateful I am that we're able to stay with him. That is truly the biggest blessing in this scenario. We have our milk warmer, we have our pumping equipment, we have our milk fridge, so that's stocked with all the milk that I've pumped, and then just suitcase, Brandon just went home to get more things, so he has his suitcase, we have our boy and his cozy bassinet, some books, we have a little library going, and then this chair that I've spent many, many of hours in. And then this is our pull-out sofa. Thankfully, we've been able to sleep okay. I think we're just so exhausted. So we have been snoozing here. And then big windows, which I just stare out here daydreaming of frolicking outside with our son. Thankfully, we, we got moved to the 11th floor fairly quickly, which I'm so thankful for one of our other nurses, Nurse Ansley. We made such a beautiful connection with her as well. We spent about eight or nine days with her in total. So we really got nice and cozy and Mr. Wells adores her and she just was so kind and really advocated for us to 
get up to the top floor because basically what kept us in the NICU so long was feeding. Um, because basically what happened with my body, he was not, he, there was no, um, I guess, what would be the word? There was no indication for him that it was like time to be born. He was nice and cozy. He was perfectly happy in my bump and you know, things happened. And so um, basically it just took some time to get the feedings down and something else that was interesting but encouraging was the hospital was very, very encouraging about me pursuing breastfeeding. So that took took probably a bit longer as well because we ended up doing combo feeding so bottle and breastfeeding so that was a whole journey in and of itself but we saw basically every lactation consultant at the hospital and he did great thankfully his latch is really really great and strong but it's just building the stamina since um with preemies it can be a bit more of an exercise to breastfeed than bottle feed so we're still sort of figuring out what's going to be best and working through everything, which I also remind myself, even if, even if we weren't in this exact situation, motherhood, new motherhood is such a journey with so many different highs and lows regardless. So just trying to treasure and really hold on to those highs is what I'm working on and just doing as much skin to skin and we call it kangaroo care as possible where basically you just keep your baby as close to you as possible so they can really just get that skin to skin and I'm learning so much too how amazing is it that your milk um it is in tune with your baby so whenever you do skin to skin or breastfeed there's just magic magic that happens essentially where it sort of identifies any nutritional needs that your baby has and then your milk will start incorporating that within your production. It's just incredible. I'm so in awe of this whole process in motherhood and this baby, this human, it's just in my arms right now. Can't even believe it. I really, it's just amazing to me. So. I'm in awe and something that was neat was the milk room because while I was there I was pumping a ton as well and there's a milk room with the NICU so basically every day multiple times a day some beautiful ladies from the milk room would come to our little mini fridge in our in our room which it was only used for milk you couldn't like put snacks and snacks in there that was actually something that was a little tricky again so thankful we were able to stay with him but we couldn't eat in our room so that was tricky because um, I'm hungry <laughs> making milk and just postpartum. I'm very hungry. <laughs> so that was tricky, but we figured it out. And um, yeah, essentially we would just put our milk in the milk fridge and then they'd come pick it up and organize it. And when we came home, we had probably a hundred pound bag full of milk bottles and we tried to fit as much as we could in the freezer. But that was like all I was focusing on when we were in the hospital was just hanging out with him making milk and talking to nurses and doctors and yeah again it's becoming such a blur already but that was interesting i never knew there was a whole milk room staff and it's really neat too um for babies in the NICU they'll also use donor breast milk so that's incredible i really want to look into potentially becoming a donor someday they said it's quite the process, which of course that makes sense, but that's a really neat aspect that I never knew about. Also, another fun little crazy thing is um, I did end up getting a C-section and the neonatal doctor in our room is actually our neighbor. So <laughs> after delivery, Brandon went with um, Wells to the NICU and the doctor goes, I'm pretty sure you're my neighbor. And then they started talking and sure enough, he's our neighbor. And he was so incredibly kind the whole time, just encouraging us and just saying, you know, whatever you need here or at home, like it's just crazy. There were so many different instances like that with just connections of different people and nurses that just tied together and really, I'm thankful that again, even though it was not what we wished for, there were so many moments where God was so present and just giving us those like comforts and little winks that this was all how it was supposed to be. Another aspect that was really touching during our time there was meeting other families, so other parents with babies in the NICU and their stories. I met one woman whose baby 
Well, she had been there since April. So she had been there for months and her son was getting stronger each day, but oh my goodness, such a journey. And it was humbling for myself as well because I would have my, my own pity party, of course. And then I would just think of her and just her strength and her journey and just be so, so humbled. Perspective really is everything. And at the hospital, viability for babies is 22 weeks. So it's just truly miraculous that, you know, we have that sort of um, medical care that makes, you know, caring for such young babies so possible. But yeah, we met so many different families who are so strong and we were able to pray with different families and encourage each other. And just, yeah, you started to see familiar faces because like I mentioned, there wasn't a place you're not supposed to eat in your NICU room, but there was a family room where you could eat. So we saw a lot of the same families throughout our stay and just got to know them and hear about their babies, which was special. But yeah, perspective, I really had to really hone in on perspective and just remind myself how how truly blessed and like lucky we are to, to be here. Another cute thing that we learned is that you also can um, volunteer to be a cuddler. They call it a cuddler, which again, it's a very long process, which as it should be, but essentially if there are any babies who maybe don't have families or don't have families who are able to spend every moment in the NICU, which we're so fortunate, we were able to take time off work and really just dedicate dedicate that season to be to be cooped up in the hospital together, just in our NICU newborn bubble, which is what I called it. But um, they have cuddler volunteers, so you can sign up to just hold the babies and volunteer to cuddle them and give them extra love, which is so, so helpful and so comforting. That's like what all, that's what babies want, is to just be held and safe and loved and cared for. So. That was another little tidbit. I feel like there's so much else that I could share, but I'm not even really sure sure what else to even say. There was, again, there was so much that happened, but then a lot of it was just the same every single day. Um, but moral of the story, I'm so thankful to be here with our son, to be home, to be just enjoying these days. We've just been truly truly cuddling as much as possible, figuring out our feeding and seeing friends and family, starting to meet everyone and just get in this new rhythm. Our schedule has been pretty consistent right now because um, we, we still wake him up for a lot of his feedings actually. So we've been on a pretty nice schedule right now, but that obviously can change every day especially as he gets bigger and bigger he'll probably start getting hungrier and hungrier maybe start cluster feeding we shall see but again we're just so thankful and excited and i just wanted to share a little bit about that experience because it was such a chunk of our life that i don't want to forget all of the details and i've tried to write down a bit but this is definitely one of the ways where i try to document document all the things but thank you all so much for the prayers and just love for our family i'm so i'm so thankful I, I spent so much time in the hospital trying to be present and just tell myself like what a unique opportunity it is to watch my son grow outside of the womb <laughs> um so early but i also spent a lot of time just daydreaming about all the fun on the horizon and all of the beautiful memories that we have yet to make so excited for that the best is yet to come but thank you all so much again for all of the love and support for our little family i'm so excited again for what's next and we have fall on the horizon with all of the crisp weather and pumpkins and decorating and recipes i'm just so excited we're i'm already such a homebody and thriving staying in my pjs all day just cuddling on the couch and then Feel like that'll be even escalated in the autumn season where we just have all the cozy creature comforts exemplified so very very much looking forward to that but i hope you and yours are well and i'm excited to see you next bye